Hey Zach, how's it going? It's Bree with Northland Marketing here. Just recording your quick video as promised. I apologize, it took me a little bit longer to get to your video than I thought, but I am here now. So I started with Googling your name just to kind of see what came up and get an idea about what's uh, online for your business. So as we talked about, I see your Google business profile is here first. Like I mentioned, there are some Google reviews on here, which is great. You're gonna wanna get the 25 five-star reviews as fast as possible. Uh, you know, you can utilize friends and family to kind of build up that re those reviews. You really wanna get to 25. That's usually a good starting point. Uh, number as, as quickly as you can. And then from there, consistency is really gonna matter. So from there on out, you wanna consistently try to get um, two a month if you can, if not more, just to kind of keep building those reviews, keep showing Google that, hey, you're out in the field, you're making people happy. So we want to get to 25 and then try and keep those consistent. Uh, the rest of this is you really want to fill it out as much as possible. This is a good start, but I know it has um, uh, it, 750 characters are the max you can put in here. And so we want to get that filled out all the way. Again, this is stuff we can help you with, but just kind of explaining. So we want this filled out the entire way. There's more services that can be listed on here. So we want the actual services themselves listed on here. Obviously, as soon as a website is completed, we want to have the website on here. There's FAQs that can get posted on here. There's products. So the services can be listed as products. There's a lot that goes into this. Um, photos so we would start by taking a look at how many photos the competitors have etc and then making sure you have the same amount if not more um so there's there's a lot that can go into it but essentially what you want to do is fill this out really as much as possible so we talked about you had a facebook page facebook page was looking good uh yelp page you've got some ratings on there which is great map quest Although it's showing you for Bristol, so maybe that was a previous address, LinkedIn. Okay, so you listed some here. Okay, Wentworth Restoration. All right, so there's some stuff for you, but the further down we go, the less relevant it is until we get here where now it's just a, another company. So that's something that we'll work on but just curious to see what comes up when we google your name now i went ahead and did a google search for seal coding meriden ct these are the ads i was talking about however i think it's slightly confused because it's saying flooring pros and these are flooring companies so i don't know if it's going to be offered for seal coding obviously it thinks that that is a flooring service so not sure we'll look into that but anyway this is what it looks like on the computer these are the ads i was talking about the google guarantees now the section below here this is called the map pack and the top three listed here are the ones that are going to receive a lot of the work because they're super easy to find and they're listed right away the way you can get yourself listed into the top three is kind of how i was explaining uh just briefly ago when we were looking at your google business profile filling it out as much as possible. And then we really wanna get you into as many online directories as possible. And those are things like Yelp and Yellow Pages. Well, I shouldn't say as many as possible, but as many of the good ones as possible. And the way we personally do this is start by looking at what directories your competitors are in and then trying to get you in those same ones or if not a close alternative. So we start by that way and just kind of building your online footprint and that will really help with the google business profile the websites listed below here these are called the organic same thing you want to be in the top three the first one here durable seal coat let's take a look at their site so this isn't their home page they actually have a page for seal coating in meriden ct makes sense so that's what's ranking uh, look um we've got a lot of text so the what i would recommend for the website build is a couple of things on your home page you're going to want to have at least 1500 words because you you're going to want to beat them out content wise 
I don't think they have 1500 words or, you know, we, we would count. If they did, then we would want to beat them out and do even more. But 1500 is usually our starting point. And the more content you have, the more you're going to look like an expert in Google's eyes. Google's, Google has these crawlers. They come through and they read the content. They're trying to figure out what areas you serve, what services you offer. And the more you have, the more they can learn about you. Second, you want to have keywords within the content. Just like how we searched SEAL Coding Merit in CT, they've got keywords in their content. They're doing a good job. If someone is Googling driveway seal coding Meriden CT and they have that all over their site, they're going to be really relevant and Google's going to be willing to put them higher up at the top. So they've got a lot of content. They've got keywords within the content. I'm sure they've got a whole lot of directories that they're showing up in. And this is why that they're ranking so well. So just some tips for your website. However, let's take a look at the back end of their website. This is a paid program I use to research websites called ARIFs. I went ahead and put them in so we can see what you're up against. The second thing I want to go over is UR and DR ratings, as these ratings are really important for where you fall within the search results. Now, these numbers are a little bit skewed because, again, it's not their home page. These numbers are just for their Merit and CT page. But just to give you an understanding, um, the UR number is essentially the trust number with Google or the trust rating. And the DR is essentially the power rating with Google. This specific page isn't that powerful, isn't that trustworthy with Google, which is good. You're not trying to beat out their whole website, in particular, at least for SEAL coding Merit and CT. We just need to beat this page. Now, maybe if we are going after the whole state, we'd have to beat their whole website, but for that particular word, it's just their Meriden page, which is good, not that powerful. One of the ways you can, one of the main ways you can really raise these numbers is through something called a backlink. All a backlink is, is a shout out or an endorsement from another website. So if there was another site and they said, hey everyone, durablesealcoat.com, they're the best, check them out, here's their website with a clickable button back to their site. That's all a backlink is. So um, not that they have any for the specific page, but what we would do is go to the competitors and see what endorsements they had, because we can see them through here, and then go and attain those for your site and get the same power for your site. Now, lastly, and most importantly, these are the keywords within the content that we were talking about before. Now, I was looking through their words and they're actually not going after that many CT words. So we can see none of these actually have a location to them. With seal coding, there's not, like the, the search volume is a little bit small because people are searching per town. Not, they're not all necessarily searching the same thing. So essentially what we do is we will set parameters and we say, hey, how many people are there within Meriden searching for driveway sealing or seal coating in merit or whatever it is they're searching for. And we're able to get an idea of how many people are searching. Um, in this program, this is usually one where I would see like residential driveway seal coating CT, and then it would tell me the volume. However, I don't want to make this video too long and open up my other software. But anyway, this is kind of giving us an idea as to how many people are searching per month, searching each keyword, except it just doesn't show us specifically for CT, which is annoying, but it's just because there's not a lot of search volume. So anyway, then the way I normally would do it was I would see, okay, here's the keyword, here's for CT. There's approximately 300 people searching a month, but I just can't do it because there's not enough people searching specifically in your area to show that. So I use another software and I just set the parameters and then it doesn't matter if they put CT or not. But anyway, I don't want to make this video too long or confusing anyway. So that's, that's what we really recommend um, you're optimizing the Google business profile when the website is built, definitely making sure there's enough content on there and then making sure we find the correct keywords and getting those keywords within the content. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to speaking with you further. Have a great evening.